Hi everyone, my name is Christina and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three easy ways to go dairy free. Not only will I be sharing with you three things you can do to easily remove or eliminate dairy from your diet, but also I'll show you how to make your own plant-based milks, creamy cheeses, ice creams, and even thicker savory sauces as replacement ideas. These delicious, nutritious, and healthy mucus-free recipes will become a quick staple in your home. I haven't consumed dairy in over 15 years, so please trust me when I say I've got you covered. <laughs> Giving up dairy doesn't have to be dreadful. I've actually discovered replacements and recipes that taste even better than what I was consuming before, and I feel much better physically too. I hope my tips and recipes I'll be sharing with you in this video will be helpful to you. To make eliminating dairy from your diet a seamless and enjoyable transition, you need to find good alternatives, replacements, or recipes for milk and ice cream, cheeses and sauces and dressings. So let's get started. When giving up dairy, the first thing you need to do is find a milk replacement or alternative. Most people tend to flock to the nut milk aisle of the grocery store and look for almond milk, cashew milk, soy milk, or oat milk. Those are the most common ones at the moment. I urge you to really look at the labels and make sure you're buying a plant-based milk with the most simple of ingredients. Try to avoid buying anything with natural flavoring, added sugars, coloring, or even rice. All of those extra ingredients aren't necessary in a plant-based milk and won't make you feel good. Rice milks tend to be higher in arsenic, which can be harmful to your body. I do think it's important to find one good store-bought nut milk that you really like to have on hand. But what I prefer to do is to make my own nut milks at home. It's so easy, much more convenient, fresh, and I find that I get more of a variety by using different nuts or seeds. In my opinion, fresh nut milk tastes so much better than anything you'll buy in the stores. Wanna know my secret to making the perfect nut milk? I'm about to share it with you. You can use a blender or a juicer like mine to make a simple nut milk. I'll be using my Nama juicer today to make this nut milk and it will take me less than five minutes. The reason why I love to use my Nama juicer to make my nut milks is because it is a clean, streamlined process. I'm not a fan of using messy nut milk bags that you have to squeeze. It's too messy for me and challenging to clean. With the Nama, you simply add in your nut or seed of choice and for every one cup of nuts or seeds that you put through the juicer, you follow it with two to three cups of coconut water. Yep, that's my secret. I use fresh coconut water instead of regular water to make my nut milks and it comes out that that much sweeter and I don't need to add or do anything else to the plant-based milk. You can see that I used fresh macadamia nuts and cashews in this recipe and it looks like it does a body good. If you don't have a Nama juicer, you can blend your nuts or seeds with a blender and then pour the mixture over a strainer or sieve to get your nut milk. I also love using a Nama to make nut milks because I get a really dry nut pulp after juicing up the milk and I use this pulp to make my own vegan cheeses. It's a zero waste kitchen trick I'll be showing you shortly. If you're looking for a new juicer or interested in getting a Nama juicer discount, there is a special link and code waiting for you below. This machine makes more than just juices and nut milks, it can make smoothies and sorbets too. Speaking of sorbets, <laughs> that leads me to my next point. You have to find a good go-to ice cream alternative that doesn't use dairy. Cash, my boyfriend, really likes So Delicious and Natamu, which are two vegan ice cream companies, but they're not raw vegan brands, um, and you can find these in most stores nowadays. But I'm pretty sure most of you know what I'm about to say right now. <laughs> I like to make my own ice creams at home. For those who want an easy ice cream replacement, you can make your own nice cream smoothie bowls, sorbets, or banana ice creams in a blender, or even in your Nama juicer as well. I have a ton of nice cream recipes here on my YouTube channel for you to search. I've linked some of my favorite videos below for you. Right now, I am going to run some frozen bananas with some frozen cherries and berries, 
threw my Nama juicer using the sorbet strainer and voila, look at this. You have your own healthy ice cream using only the simplest of ingredients. Now this is to live for, yum! Again, for those looking to get a Nama juicer, I've included a special discount code and link for you below. Definitely check it out. Next up, we gotta get cheesy. <laughs> it is all about that cheese. What's so interesting to me is I often find that one of the last food items that people find it hard to give up before going completely plant-based is cheese. But don't worry, I have a raw vegan cream cheese spread and dip that will blow your mind. I also have a raw vegan fermented and dehydrated cheese that looks exactly like block cheese in my holiday ebook guide for those who are interested in something that's a little bit more firm. I will also link that below for you. But today, <laughs> we're making cream cheese. I'll start by taking the leftover pulp from my nut milk and I'll blend it with extra sunflower seeds, extra cashews, lemon juice, half a cup of water, and a pinch of pink salt. Once it's fully blended and creamy, I'll put this into a mixing bowl and then fold in finely diced or chopped herbs, red onion, green onion, jalapeno, and a little bit of black or chili pepper. I'll garnish it with a little bit of extra herbs on top and sprinkle on some paprika or cumin. This is heaven. I have just added this cream cheese recipe to my Fully Raw app for you to try, and there are actually already two other versions of this cream cheese recipe in my app waiting for you as well. For those of you who don't know, I have a Fully Raw app with more than 450 raw vegan recipes for you, and the links to download my app on iTunes and Google Play are listed below for you in the description. My app is now free to download, and once you download it, you get to to choose between a monthly and a yearly subscription plan. The yearly plan gives you access to everything. Say cheese. One of the last key things that you will need to help make your dairy-free transition a little easier is to have a really good selection of sauces and dressings. Ones that you really love and that you can put on anything. That being said, it is so easy nowadays to find vegan dressings in the stores. Even when you go out to eat at a restaurant, they have more vegan options than they have ever had before. All you have to do is ask and figure out what you like best. Once you find two or three good sauces that you like, let those become your staples until you learn how to make more new sauces or dressings that you like. Maybe some of you can list your favorite dressings below. I always find that people tend to use dairy in their pasta sauces, or they like creamy pasta sauces. So I'm about to show you how I love <laughs> to make one of my favorite and simple creamy fettuccine sauces. This sauce is so versatile, you can also use it as a dip or even a thick salad dressing. If you want, you can use your leftover nut milk pulp as well to make this sauce. I'm using a Vitamix blender to make this dressing and I'm adding in two tablespoons of raw macadamia nuts, a few cashews, a tablespoon of hemp seeds, the juice of one lemon or lime, a pinch of pink Himalayan salt, and one to two cups of water depending on how thick you want your sauce to be. Blend until it becomes completely smooth and creamy and reaches the consistency that you desire. Pour this over your noodles of choice. Tonight I am pouring this over kelp noodles. You can also try zucchini or cucumber noodles. This exact fettuccine recipe is also in my app for you and it is linked below in the description. The transition to living a dairy-free lifestyle takes a little bit of time and practice. It takes some effort at first to read the labels, learn new recipes, and even make special requests when you go out to eat but it's worth it. Not only will your body thank you, will your body thank you, but also the animals who are exploited and harmed by the dairy industry will thank you too. So today I have shown you how to make your own nut milks and ice creams. I've given you a fun cream cheese recipe and I've also shared with you a yummy fettuccine sauce that you can pretty much use on everything if you want. All of those recipes you can make from home and each of those should take you less than 10 to 15 minutes to make. 
I hope you have found this video to be helpful. I hope it gives you some tools or solutions on your journey to eliminate or reduce dairy from your diet. If you've liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more deliciousness to come. If you're interested in getting a Nama juicer, there is a special discount code waiting for you below. I absolutely love my Nama juicer and hopefully you can see from this video that it is so versatile and fun to use in the kitchen. It makes more than just juices, it makes nut milks, smoothies, and yummy sorbets. Thank you all again so much for joining me today. I have loved spending this time with you. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video and I'm sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.